bit of DIY. There's my sunnies, and that's the action camera. I'm just zip tying it to the side, and it's gonna act like a GoPro. <laughs> it's gonna be good. No way. Guys, I've just... Alex here. Today we are back at the lake and I've brought something a little bit different today. Have a look there. Some DIY zip ties and a little action camera on my sunglasses. So hopefully I catch a few fish and get the hookups on film. Hoping for a couple of salmon and brim today. I've just got a double clutch, a Daiwa double clutch in 60 mil. So we'll give that a flick around and hopefully that will produce a couple of nice fish. It's really windy today. There's a bit of rain forecasted, but I brought my rain gear. So hopefully that keeps me dry. But I'm walking down to the lake now and I'll keep you updated on what happens. Just another nice salmon. Took the double clutch while casting. It's a bit windy today. Hence why these guys are probably feeding. Just another salmon trout. About 30 centimeters or so. And it took that double clutch. So I'll unhook this fella. And here it goes. Oh, just missed one. Had a couple of, there we go. Oh, I dropped him. That would have been a brim. Dropped him on the drop there and uh, had a couple of hits, so it must have been a school. It's a bit hard fishing in this wind, but I reckon the fish will be a bit more keen rather than shy, just because there's a bit of turbulence on the water and it makes it hard for them to see anything above the top. Yep, that's a good fish. I saw him hit it right next to the steps there. I saw him stalk it right up. And uh, I've got tight drag because there's a bit of structure down there. And I don't want him to run down there, so. There he is. Good fish. I reckon I might lose him if I lift him. But we'll give it a shot. There we have it. How awesome was that? Watched him hit it right next to the steps and he is a chunky brim. There it is, about 28 to 30 centimeters. And he's hooked on the nose there. What a wonderful fish. Tracking looking fish, nice and silver and nice and plump. He hit that double clutch just on that twitching retrieve next to the steps there. You may have seen it on the action camera, but that was awesome. So I've found myself a little bit of shelter behind the wind and the rain, but out there it's just 
rough as guts at the moment. I'm gonna have to wait it off. But it's crazy how one day it's calm and glassed out and the next day it's blowing 30 knot winds and pouring with rain. That's typical Adelaide weather for you. We're still catching fish, so not complaining. So the weather's died down a little bit. It's still pretty rough out there and there's still a bit of rain falling from the sky. I'd like to take this moment to thank James Nichols and Noah Murphy for being my first two patrons for $5 per month. They will both be receiving a free piece of artwork, piece of fishing artwork I should say, from me. And it's their choice what they want me to paint or draw. That's just my thank you to you guys. I'm giving a free piece of artwork to my first five patrons that donate $5 monthly. So there's three spots remaining. Jump on it guys, my patron link is in the description below. But in the meantime, I'm gonna keep fishing. I'll keep you guys updated. Just hooked up to one. Third cast after I headed back out, I've hooked up to another one. Apologies for the wind, it's pretty bad. But this guy's only a little one, and he hit it on a slow roll, so there we have it. Salmon, I reckon. Yep, salmon. Not a bad one either. Just another trouty, actually. There we go. Another nice plump trout. Just landed another very nice trout. Once again on that twitching double clutch. Looks like a nice blue bait. Yum. one's a bit bigger than the last ones we've been getting. Oh, he's running hard. Could be 35 plus, maybe even 40. He hit it instantly. As soon as it touched the bottom, uh, touched the surface, sorry. Let's see how big he is. He's gone hard. Oh yeah, 35, 40. Oh, 40 plus actually. There we go. Pretty much the same spot I hooked that last one in the first session I had here. Oh, look at that jump. Awesome size fish. Oh, look at that for a salmon. Once again, hit that double clutch as soon as it hit the surface. Wonderful. About 40 centimeters. Right, so I just landed this solid salmon, as you saw in my action camera. He's about 42 centimeters, I reckon. But he's a nice plump fish. We'll get a release on this guy, shall we? Go. 
throwing up salmon. Had a few hits there, so then, oh, dropped him. There might be a school out there. Not even another car. So we're doing a bit of a location change just to go somewhere a little bit more sheltered. And this looks like a great spot for it. So we'll give it a couple of casts here and see if it doesn't produce any fish. There's a dead rat in the water, which is pretty gross. Out of here. Brim hit it twice there. Far out. Didn't get hooked. Nice little brim, saw him hit it. There was a bigger one next to him, but I doubt he'll come back for it. There we have it. There's one, and it's a salmon, a little salmon trout. So I've just moved to a much calmer spot. It's still a bit choppy, but I've landed a little salmon trout. And I hooked a brim before too, and missed a few. Oh, but I'll get this guy back in. There's another salmon trout. There's a double clutch, and take a look at that foam. I bet you there's a good fish sitting under that. We'll give it a shot. Did you guys just see that? Holy crap, that was a good brim. Oh, dropped him. All right, so my action camera just ran out of battery, so I'll be using this one again. If you didn't see there, I hooked a really nice brim in the foam, and unfortunately it shook the hooks, but I reckon it would have been about 34. It fully jumped out the air. Hopefully the camera picked it up. If it did, you'll see it. If it didn't, I wish you did. So guys, just hooked up to a nice size brim. He's around 29 to 30 centimeters. Maybe a little bit smaller, 27, 28. But once again on that double clutch, the paint's coming off now. I've missed so many fish. After my action camera died, I missed another one around 34. 33. They're nice and silver today because of all the rain that's been coming down. It's putting a lot of fresh water in. That explains why it's so silver. I've just hooked up to another salmon trout. Here it is. Nice chunky one. That is a plump salmon trout. I had a couple of hits before this guy, so there must be a couple out there. Like I said, anything that imitates a wounded bait fish, these fish will hit. And I wouldn't be surprised if a Mulloway hit it too. Yes, so I finally hooked a cracking broom. He's around 32 centimeters. And he took it right up against the wall on the slow roll. All right, there we go. I was wrong about the size. He's probably about 29 to 30. Look at that. He's engulfed that pack trouble.
All right, so I reckon I'm gonna call it a trip. The wind's picking up and the rain's gonna settle in soon. So we did catch a few fish. We got about six brim, I reckon. I can't remember off the top of my head, but we did drop a couple of mid thirties um, on hard bodies, all on the double clutch. at West Lakes and it's another nice calm morning. I checked the wind last night and it was just dead. So there's a few salmon splashes over there and check out those birds work in the water. Gonna give it a cast and uh, hopefully it will produce a couple of salmon. There's one. So I'm just casting on these flats here because I know there's brim sitting out there feeding. And this one's actually a salmon, surprisingly. There we go. How cool is that? Any second now, had a couple of taps there. But there was a bait fish on the surface and brim were trying to hit it. That was pretty cool to see. While you're brim fishing, you always want to look for structure. I know I've said it before, but I can't stress enough. Any bit of structure that will hold bait fish or a supply of food and look down, there's a drain. And this drain's actually flowing a little bit. And I've had about five hits out there from brim seen a bait fish get chased down by a couple of brim maybe salmon trout but they're sitting in front of this drain because there's a bit of current and that's where they like to feed There we go, just hooked up to a nice brim. He hit it so hard. What I love about hard bodies. Only a little tacker. I called him nice, but <laughs> they all fight really nice. There we go. And back he goes. hooked up to a nice brim, saw him take it, and there was a salmon chasing him. He just crunched that. You should check out how far down he's sucked that in. Have a go at that. He's inhaled that double clutch. Far out. Gonna have fun trying to get that out. I'll try to get that hook out without harming him anymore, but that's gonna be a hard one. So we'll give it our best shot. So I managed to get the lure out. It was right down his gob, but I'll chuck him back now. Oh, just got slammed by salmon there. And there's a couple more following him. How good was that? Mm. 
not a bad salmon at all. Probably 30, 32 centimeters or so. Chunky as. And I've somehow got a knot in my line. Look at that for a good sized salmon trout. As you saw in the camera, I was just retrieving it on that drop off there. And this guy came out of nowhere and there was another one following him. But I reckon he's long gone. So we'll get this guy back in anyways. So you may have noticed, but the double clutch that I'm using doesn't have Daiwa trebles. That's because I've changed them up. And the reason for that is because Daiwa trebles are made to be super sharp, but they're not as strong as other trebles and they bend and snap easy. So I switched it up to these ones here. I reckon these ones are made by decoy, but they're a lot stronger and they do the job. So what I'm actually doing when it comes to hard body retrieves is I'm casting parallel to the bank. So sort of in a diagonal direction and I'm just retrieving it slowly, giving it a couple of twitches every now and then, like so. And the reason I'm casting Oh, there's a broom following it. Oh, he had two swipes. But the reason I'm casting parallel to the bank is because I'm covering more ground from where the fish are sitting. Like I said before, they're sitting on the drop-off. So I'm casting parallel with it, not straight out, because if you cast straight out, you won't be casting to where the fish are half the time. There will be the odd fish out there, but most of the time they're sitting on the drop off so I'm casting parallel but it's a different case if you're fishing flats just because the flats the drop offs further out and you want to cast to the drop off so you cast straight out that's all I'm doing I'm just doing a twitching retrieve and they seem to be smashing it I'm not sure if I've said it already but the reason I'm casting on the drop off and the reason I think the fish are sitting on the drop off is because it acts like a really good ambush point for the fish, any sort of fish. So your brim, your mulloway, your salmon, any predatorial fish, because there's a lot of bait fish that sit up in the shallows. And when they move out into the deep water, they tend to get preyed on by the bigger fish, which is why, yeah, your brim, your salmon, your mulloway sit on the drop-offs. And that's usually the feeding fish. How cool is that? Watched him come up and eat it right at the steps. He's a really dark fish compared to the ones I've been getting. Bronze in colour. I reckon it's because he's been digging his head in the reeds trying to scavenge for some food. But that's a nice bronze coloured brim and he slammed that double clutch. Check out those gnarly teeth made for crunching mussels and shellfish. <clears throat> Hooks are out and there it goes. As a lot of you may know, I've started a Patreon account and I've got two patrons and I really want to thank him. So those two people are James Nichols and Noah Murphy. So cheers heaps guys. And the way I'm going to thank you is I'm going to be giving you a piece of artwork that I will do for you guys. Um, it's your choice of what you want me to paint, draw or sketch, but it has to be fishing related. So let me know what you want guys. And I'm giving a piece of artwork to my first five patrons that donate $5 per month. Yeah, Noah and James, you're on the list already. So there's three more spots. Jump on it guys. And I really appreciate your help. All my patrons will be the biggest contributors to improving my videos, so I really appreciate that. Not only that, but I want to thank every one of you for viewing my videos. That's what keeps me going, and especially the comments that you send to me that are very constructive feedback. Every bit of help really means a lot to me, so I hope my videos help you guys as well.
I've chucked the Patreon link in the description below and um, I'm gonna get back to fishing so stay tuned for more there's a whole school of brim there about four of them and I just spooked them <laughs> as you saw there I was casting from a fair distance that's because I didn't want to spook them and when you see the fish they can see you if they're facing that way so you want to stay a fair distance so you don't spook them and that's what I just did but when I casted they still saw me <laughs> and spooked No way, there's a squid. Guys, I've just got a squid. <laughs> I've hooked a squid on the double clutch in West Lakes. How epic was that? I saw him come up and stalk it. And I'm not really fussed if it falls off because I'm gonna release it anyways. But take a look at that. <laughs> a bloody squid on a double clutch in West Lakes. <laughs> and it's not the first time I've seen them in here. I've actually caught a few in here before. But how awesome was that? And I'll beach him. And there we have it. A squid on a double clutch. <laughs> Fantastic. Cracking squid. How good is that for a squid? <laughs> on that double clutch, we'll get him out in deeper water so we can get a good release on him. Beautiful squid. And there it goes. <laughs> See you mate. Just another weird and wonderful creature out of West Lakes. I reckon I'm gonna call it a day. We've caught plenty of brim and salmon trout and it's just calmed right off again. I've got two social media pages. I've got an Instagram account and a Facebook account and I've chucked the links in the description below. So feel free to check them out. I usually post plenty of photos on there of fishing trips that I don't make videos from. And a big thanks to Noah and James once again and all of you people watching as well. Each view counts and that's what keeps me going with these videos. So I hope this video has helped you as well. It's been an enjoyable trip today. Hopefully the action camera footage turned out all right, but you, you would have seen it anyways. So cheers for watching yet another video and um, stay tuned for more.